I'll give you a little update on what I'm doing actually now. <laughs> what I'm actually making is <coughs> cheese and onion pasty and a cheese and onion roll using this, the same mixture as I did before with the you know, the flour mix or the uh, pastry mix, I mean. Before I get my mixture out of the fridge, I'm going to uh, line these with flour. There's a flour on here. And I still have the water. Rolling pin, so back to the bottle. I have cleaned this, don't worry. <laughs> I'm always cleaning it. Get it a good flowering down. It doesn't stick to it like it did last time. Right, put that there for now. While I get this out of the fridge, this has been in for just over an hour, so it should be okay until it's nice and cool. Right. I might be able to make actually, I'll cut that in half so I can I'll make two sausage roll things with it cheese and onion rolls I should say and one pasty Hopefully this ain't too flaky. The pasty I'm going to make, what I'm going to do is uh, roll it out to the size I need. I have to be perfectly thin. What I'm going to do, I'll turn the oven on now actually. Place the cheese and onion on one side. Remember gas mark five on this and fold it over so you don't have to mess about, pinch it down. Cut off your edges if you don't need them. Put them there. Try and pick that up and show you without dropping it. There. It looks like one, so I'll place it there. In fact, I might make two pasties. <laughs> Set back together. Whatever you do with this, you can actually save the rest of it for a later date. Just put it in the fridge. I'll make a sausage roll out of it, yeah. Because I don't think I've got. A lot of um, mixture left, so I'll cut off that much. Well, no, that's the bit I need. <laughs> just, 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 just,
use it for that. Put that back in there, then put it back in the fridge and mix something with it tomorrow. <coughs> Might make a beef one tomorrow. Beef and onion. The sausage I'm going to put it down like that and then try and roll it up like fold it and keep going over and so it's all nicely spread out inside and it should look like that pinch it down on the ends and put it on there I did buy some extra flour for this, but I didn't really need it. I've still got this bit. Anyway, I will put it in the oven once it's heated up <coughs> for 20, 25 to 30 minutes. <coughs> and I'll turn this as well, while I, just to make sure it's done, both sides. show you the end results afterwards and I will even do a taste test. See you in a moment. Don't forget to slice them. <laughs> I nearly forgot them before you put them in because they will expand and they will just splatter out everywhere. So don't forget to slice them. And the results are in. Right, turn the oven off and I will... Oh, what yeah. Look at this, there's the results. I have angle that down a bit more. There you go. I did turn them over earlier on. And look at that. Nice and crispy. Just get my knife. These are still hot, so I'm going to... Right, i use a fork and pick that up. <laughs> Nicely melted in. Leave it there for a moment to cool. I'll cut that one in, in half again and I'll do a taste test now. Right, I'll just turn the camera towards me. That zooming on me, I'll turn that over and out. Here we go. There it is. Yeah, just about. <laughs> Good little finger foods, these sausage roll style ones. You can have something like this with the uh, chips or a little bit of vegetables. You, oh, that's quite nice actually. <laughs> Might put some a bit, a bit of brown sauce on these as well. That's hot. <laughs> I don't usually do that. <laughs> right. Just make sure you're not wearing dark unit you new know, clothes when you're making it, especially with a floury pastry. Anyway, 
If you like this video, give us a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Hopefully I'll be making some bread soon, but I've got enough here, so for now. <laughs> I'm going to make a full loaf next time, hopefully. But until then, catch you later. Cheers.